security to me means feeling safe in the intimate relationships of the home, within my community, and as a member of a nation at peace, where the rule of law is respected and where conflict won't break out. I'm lucky to have that security on so many levels, but so many people don't. It's being able to do all the things you need to do in your daily life without being anxious or concerned. And I've lived in places where I haven't been able to do that, and it really impacts on, you know, on your life as a woman. everybody having the space to realise their full potential free of violence, persecution, discrimination. That's how I see it. To me, it means knowing that my children are safe. To me, security is feeling safe and living without fear. Security can mean freedom of expression, the right to protest, the right to disagree with people, the right to freedom of speech, um, and the right to live free from fear. To me personally, security means feeling free to speak my mind, to stand up for what I believe in, and to be true to who I am without fear of repercussions. And those things are all incredibly important. Security means to me having the freedom to uh, plan for the future. For me, a safe environment is essential for women to be able to realise their rights. To me, security means having the confidence, um, the support and the means to be able to protect myself and also having strong laws that are well enforced to protect my rights. Security means that I'm able to fully access my human rights without fearing for my own personal safety and I believe that everybody should have the right to this kind of security. To me security means the freedom to make choices about my life that will improve my happiness because I don't have to worry about more basic human needs. What does security mean to me? Well, I guess, as the director of the International Women's Development Agency, first thing I think about is the safety of my staff, the women who work in countries across Asia and the Pacific, being sure that they can do their work with free, you know, free of any kind of fear of violence, and obviously trying to work in spaces that are not conflict zones or at the risk of war. That's the first thing. I guess then I look at the bigger picture and I think about security overall and I know that the partnerships that we have are so critical but so frontline, so cutting edge in terms of addressing security. We're looking at trying to establish appropriate legal and legislative responses to abuses of women's rights in relation to individual violence, violence within the home, violence as a result of trafficking. And then we look into practical action and safe spaces, the kind of service provision models that we can put together that find safe spaces and refuges for women. And then the whole political space, I guess, in terms of trying to resolve conflict and knowing how complex and how many levels of participation that requires to bring both the experience and the opinion of women into negotiation of conflict and into mediation of conflict and then just looking at how that brings general security at all levels, national, regional, but also household and community. 
So it's so many things, it requires so many resources and I think the only way forward is through collaboration and doing all we can to make our voice be heard. Thank you.